Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. We've got the British University Karting Championship, the BUKC 24 hours coming up soon. So I thought, you know what, I'll do a little video, a little vlog on it. Uh, because it is literally my favourite weekend of the year. Um, the 24 hours are always great, you get some great drivers there. And it's sunny, so what's there not to like? So I thought I'd do a little tour of what I like to take for the 24 hours before getting to the nitty gritty, getting to the karting circuit. So let's take a look at everything that we've got in here. I'll try to speed run through this, but knowing me and how energetic I get over karting stuff, it'll probably take a while. Um, so we've got our rib protector here. We've got our racing suit. We've got our wetsuit because obviously if it rains, you don't want to be driving while you're, you're soaking wet because you just can't focus properly. We've got our lovely sparkle gloves and then we've got our wet weather gloves, which are like, they're almost a bit foamy. Then we've got our racing helmet in here, along with our clear visor. So this is a clear visor. Currently, the, the dark iridium visor is on, which is when it's sunny. It's just a lot nicer. Um, steering wheel. Yes, yeah, so the carts that you usually go corporate karting in, their wheels aren't very comfortable, especially over a long race. Like, if you're in the cart for one and a half hours, you really feel it on your hands. So getting, like, well, literally my old karting steering wheel. I've taken it off. Um, but I do need to get, like, there's a connector that connects this through these screws to the um, the steering column, is what it's called. So I've ordered that, and hopefully it arrives in time for the race, otherwise, well, can't use it. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be good. I've got my thermals in here, just in case it's cold, because you can never trust um, British weather, and spare change of clothes and all that stuff. Over here, yes, this, this is cool. So in here, we've got our headsets. So these are our intercoms. And can I get this out as well? Yes, I can, because this, this is cool, right? So this, I'll get this out, this is our intercom system. So as you can see, it's kind of in there. I need to stick that back in. Um, but this is what we'll all be wearing on the headset. So while someone's out in the cart, they'll have one intercom on um, with them while they're out on track. And then we'll put our intercom on this bit here. And that way it stays on your head the entire time and you can talk to your driver. So I'll leave that up because I can't put that back in the bag with one hand. Uh, we have got, what else do we have? We've got our GoPro. I don't really know if I can use it, but I'll probably do that because I'm doing the qualifying lap. So I thought I can get some laps in. Um, or, well, qualifying Super Bowl, so it's one lap. Um, and I've got a stand so I can, you know, walk around and GoPro some stuff. And then in here, in this lovely H&M bargain bag, are my um, bargain Sparco boots. Very good um, racing boots. And I've had those for a few years, so they're a little bit tight on me now, but... Ah, uh, they're fine. And then this, well, we've got our power bank as well because we don't want to run out of battery over a long race. And then we've got the iconic Lewis Hamilton McLaren Mercedes cap from 2008, 2008, I want to say. It's very old, it's very worn out, and you're probably wondering, why don't I have a new hat? Well, one, I don't like spending money. Um, so, yeah. Two, I've had this for a while, and when I used to do BUKC, I had this hat, so I was like, you know what, let's wear, like, a motorsport hat to a motorsport event. Eventually, I kind of got known as the guy in the paddock who'd wear this old, completely faded, what was red, but it's now an orangey-pink cap to races. So, it's kind of become a thing from then on to always go to VUKC events or karting events with this hat, and just be known as the guy with the Vodafone hat. Um, I guess it's a way to stand out, isn't it? So... Yeah, that's that's a tour of everything I've got. Got some stuff in there. Um, today is Thursday. I'm heading up north. I'm going to stay with good old Technovin for the night because he lives much closer to the track than I do. And then on Friday, we're going to set up the awnings and all of that stuff. And then Saturday is practice and the start of the race. So, yeah. Intro to this video done. Bloody hell, it's been four minutes already. I'm sorry, guys. I waffle. Um, but, yeah, I find this stuff really interesting. So, I'll just talk for ages about it. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. Bye. Right, hello, we're at Teesside. Do, 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 do. We arrived Friday, we set up the awnings. We've got Technovin eating some food inside. And um, yeah, we've got some stuff set up. We've also got another area which um, I might as well show you. It's a very nice day on Friday, so um, I went to do my Friday prayers. Grab some food from there. You can always trust the food whenever you go to a mosque on a Friday. Always guaranteed to be absolute quality. Um, so there have been some changes here actually 
at Teesside, which I'll show you in a second. And we've actually got some pretty cool stuff set up as well, even if my video is cool. So all of this area here at Teesside is now traveled up. And to top things off, this is our little setup. Now, okay. So you can see these flags. We're gonna use these flags to wave people in. Yes, that is a um, pipe in on the top of the pole that we can wave around to signal drivers to come in. Um, I forgot that I've got my jumper in here. We've got some we've got some other stuff. I've also got my my headset steering wheel, all of that in. Um, and yeah, the track is looking glorious. So yeah, day two of the vlog. Um, I'm going to head back to Michael's in a bit watch some anime, who knows, definitely not prepare for the race, and um, yeah, then back Saturday morning, practice, qualifying, and then race start. Hello people, it is Friday evening, so we're preparing for, um, what do you call it, 24 hours, yeah that's the event, by watching LEC on a big screen with anime figurines on the side. I'm not going to wake up in the morning, I'm screwed. Okay, it's Saturday morning, almost 8 o'clock, so we've got drivers briefing in half an hour, we've just got to the circuit, as you can see it's a bit packed around us, so we haven't been able to park in the main car park area, but now we're going to go meet the rest of the team, because we didn't see anyone yesterday, it was just Ocean's dad who got early, got there early to set up, so yeah, going to meet everyone, get kitted up, and then get ready for practice. Alright guys, so we're at the circuit, um, it is absolutely packed, that's our little awning, so my good old Sports Direct duffel bag. Um, See, so yeah, I tend to sleep and kind of stuff. But this, this is our front nose. So if I put it over here for us, we've got chicken and mushroom pie, all steak pie, the upper crust of the UKC, the steak and kidney. I don't know what the chicken balty bit is. Either way, this is like everyone else having a whole bunch of fun. You might see on the top, it says KKK, which is because our team thought it'd be very funny if our team name was um, Kane's Clark Clan. So Kane's one of our drivers, so it's Kane's Clark Clan or Kane's Clark Club, and we are number 21. But yeah, that is, that's what's going to be on the front of our cart so that we can um, identify ourselves almost. Hello. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but we're kitted up. We've got the radio on, and we're about to go out for practice, um, and then qualifying. So, see you guys in a bit. So super qualifying has just started, so what they do is they let out like four carts at a time, or five, six carts, so these are the carts coming in having completed their lap, so the um, pit exit is on the other side of that corner, so the next set of six carts will be let out, so we'll be seeing them coming over the top of the hill in about 20 seconds or so. Um, so super pole, everyone gets one lap. Um, I couldn't really find the pace in practice, so uh, but I decided against doing super quality um, super quality because I just didn't have the pace and Ocean was like four tenths quicker We can actually see the times up there and currently the best time is a 22.3 so If if I'd been out by now and done a lap, I'd probably be about one and a half seconds In pole so the times are very slow right now. I think Ocean might be out in the next set. So yeah, let's see all right, so Ocean is in the next set. Here he comes in his um, iconic black helmet with the uh, orange sharp on the side of it. So he's starting up his lap now. Uh, the fast time is still that 22.2 because we haven't had any other carts coming through. So I reckon I'm going to do a prediction. He did a 24 in practice. So I'm going to guess he's still going to do a 20.5. Let, let's see when he comes across the line. Okay, so Ocean's behind these set of two carts. He's actually visibly gained on them. So here he comes then cross the line and um, uh, he's pole he's pole 21 one though we need to have words with them about that all right so qualifying done I think we're in second so yeah ocean time was pretty good either way it's up top five um, so time to get kitted up jump in the car and then we've got the running start so yeah Le Mans start start that should be good get a uh, good thing I've been getting fit lately Yes! 
so I finished my stint, um, second, first half the first corner, um, and then we were like part of the six cart battle, so like sometimes we were at the front, most of the time we were like at the back. Um, eventually we made it into a three cart battle, and then that's when the fun happened. Second pitted, I then got instantly fast first, and then we would just worked together, we pumped in like some insane times. Got to pit under four course yellow, so that's like pitting under a VSC if you watch Formula One. Um, there were loads of people in the pit, so because there's only two fuel bases, we have to wait our turns. We lost a bit of time, but after after everyone fitted, we're leading, and we've got we've got a big gap, so it's fine. Hello again. I'm quite enjoying these sunglasses. Not gonna lie. Um, so we sadly had a mechanical. Uh, some engine bracket came off, so it, we had part of um, the rear wheel cover rubbing against the tyre all the way down the straight so there was just like loads of smoke coming from the tyre um, so we lost about two three laps from it which is obviously a real shame but we're back in it now and yeah I think we're in 12th so yeah we, we gained time considering we were in P22 after the mechanical so gaining 10 spots is pretty good so yeah we're about to make a pit stop back down a bit maybe to like P15, P16 but then climb back up um, and everyone else is going to get mechanicals at some point so um, don't need to beat ourselves up about anything just yet. It's 6pm and that means one thing, food. Oh look at that. Yes it's, it's a plain margarita, I don't care but that's dinner. Nom 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 nom. Right in a bit. So that pit stop, we're up into P4. Will has gone to help Ocean. Yeah. He's in. You get pushed to the fueling bank. And then your car gets fueled up. And then we push it around for our driver change. And this is the worst bit where you're just waiting. Um, our best stop actually so far is the only time we haven't had carts in front of us. So swivel the front round and that way it's... Um... As you might be able to tell, it's very late in the day. It is quarter past one. I just had my midnight stint. Sorry, I keep bringing the camera for close to my face. Can I zoom out? I can't zoom out. Sorry, you're just gonna have to deal with it. So, had my night stint. Uh, we had a service, so they they just like oil up the chain and um, put new front tires on. So you go back out on the track and your tires are like freezing cold. There's like no grip on the front end, um, and then you get grip and your car's like loads quicker than everyone else. So I think that's didn't, there wasn't anyone on track who was as quick as me, but once I got the fresh tyres on, I was just, it, it was insane. It's like driving a Mercedes and everyone else is in a Williams and you're just like darting in and out of people. Like you're almost in a different class, so yeah, we we also had some more issues, which is a shame. So now I'm just waiting for James Ludlam to finish his stint and then we're going to head to the hotel. I'm going to get a shower, go to sleep, get up at 7, 8, and then final stint at about... 12, 11, something like that. I don't know. I'll work it out. Anyway, there we go. Good morning. I look dead because I am. Uh, it is 7.30 going on to 8. I think it might be 8 already. Just driven from the circuit, uh, driven from the hotel back to the track. Um, five hours sleep was not enough. So, yeah. But, yeah. Now I'm back at track, um, I'm going to take my stuff, go back to the awning, go back to the team. We're currently running P10 from what I saw on live timing. So yeah, it's nice and sunny. One more stint to go, my body's going to hate me. Alright, so, 24 hours done. We had our final stint. I've, I'm dead. Um, I did like 20 minutes followed by an hour 30 because of how things worked out. We needed to do a splash and dash. I'm literally dead, physically dead. So I'm in the car, about to head off, and that's the 24 hours, and I decided, you know what, I am so destroyed from that, I'm going to go to the Astor, 
I'm going to fill up my car with petrol and then I'm just going to buy a shit ton of goodies like brownies brunch bars um, like I'll take a picture and uh, I'll end the video with that but yeah that's a 24 hour race um, I hope this has been informative enjoyable to some extent bye it's not